Alright guys, welcome to your 40th video and let's go ahead and start building the add item page. So the first thing that we need to do of course is throw in some PHP tags because we need to add that header and search code. So just go ahead and copy this, header and search, and that is going to give you of course your search bar and all those links at the top of the screen. Now after this, what we need to do is we want to build the section of links on the left hand side. Now, well, I'll come back to these. Well, how am I going to teach you guys? Okay, I might as well tell you guys now. You see all of these links? Okay, that's pretty interesting. Now, do you see after some of these links, there's a number in parentheses? Well, that number is to tell you how many of those things you have. For example, it says inbox eight. That means I have eight unread messages. Now, pending one means I have one item that is pending review. Now, even though I don't have any active items now, whenever I receive an offer, it would be like offers received 12, offers made 7, um, completed trades 3. So, all of these numbers are statistics telling you how many of each item you have. It just helps you, you know, easy, pretty much easily visualize what's going on at a glance in your account so just keep that in mind because I'm gonna come back to that point later on so on the links the side on the left I was just talking about that is actually a side with the ID main underscore aside now of course let's go ahead and end that aside now what I did is each of these pages we go to it's gonna have the same links on the left hand side so instead of writing the links in HTML and coding them using the same bit of code over and over and over again what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create all those links in a PHP function and instead of you know I don't know what would it be probably like a hundred lines of code I'm just gonna include that one PHP function which is this PHP actually I can just go ahead and steal this now the function is going to be called account links and just go ahead and put zero in here and you'll see why later on now of course instead of you know coding that all those links every single time we need them we can just call this function and we're good to go now we'll get to this function in a little bit which is basically the function responsible for creating all the HTML for those links but before we create the HTML for those links, we first need to calculate the statistics for that user. Now, if you said statistics, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the numbers of pending items, the number of offers that user received, the number of offers that user made, the number of I or excuse me, the number of messages that they have not read yet. All of the statistics for that individual user. Why do we need to do this first? Well, we need to do this because they are they are actually part of the links themselves. So before we can code this function account links, I'm going to show you guys how to code those statistical functions. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new file, and I'm just going to go ahead and save this, not in any of these folders, but since these statistics are valuable statistics we're gonna want to reuse these not only whenever we see the links but we're gonna want to use some of these on the home page and uh, you know whenever the offer item page so I'm gonna go ahead and make a new folder and I'm gonna call this functions now all of the functions that are kinda general that's what I'm gonna code in here so of course these are user statistics how many of certain items does this user have so I'm gonna call this file fun so I know it's a function file user stats now just go ahead and throw in that PHP extension and I want to mention this and listen carefully or else you're gonna get a whole bunch of code that you have no idea what it does there's going to be a bunch of different statistics that we have to calculate. How many pending items do they have? How many active items do they have? How many um, completed trades does the user have? However, the code is very similar 
for each function. So instead of showing you guys how to do 12 different functions that do the same exact thing, I'm going to show you guys how to do one function and then I'm going to give you guys the rest. So if you guys want the other functions, they're going to be available in the download file. But let me show you guys how to calculate statistics for that user and then once you understand how to do this, you understand how to calculate any statistic. So let's go ahead and calculate the user's pending items. Calculate um, users pending items. Now, of course, this is a function, and the function would be calculate users pending items. Now, as a uh, parameter, it would be, of course, their user ID. So if we, if my user ID was 11, we would pass in 11 right here, and it would calculate my pending items which would return you know three if I had three items pending so the first thing I need to do is I need to query the database and what I'm gonna do is I'm pretty much gonna query the database and look at all of the items where the user ID equals my user ID and the status of that item equals pending